Hello everyone. Have you ever wondered how you can create a full landscape website where a user visits your website and meets such a page with only these few details your site name or channel name and some slogan with this button with those cool effects so when a user slides down it will still be on the same page and if you can notice we are having some shadow which will be the box shadow when we are recording we are having some paragraphs and I gave them some width maximum width of 600 pixels or 700 there and also gave them a margin of 0 auto and 20 pixels so when a user slides back he gets this full landscape view when he goes down he meets such a thing so that's what we are going to be creating and stay tuned so right in my editor I will save this so this is going to be the style for our button I'm not going to write it again I already designed it so you just look at it if possible you pause the video and copy the code let's get started <laughs> started so I'll start by creating a header So inside our header we shall be having some heading h1 heading oh and the heading will be Austin code cipher and I will also create another small heading h4 opening and closing tag then I put our slogan write code write code build websites so far when you save this this is what we are having then I create an I create a button create a button a default to be having nothing and you see this katine thing here so we shall put some text on it which was register save this and so far this is our structure then we need to import in some paragraphs here and write in this microsoft word let me show you how you can create fake paragraphs i'll put it at 20 put echo sign write rand open brackets place any value you want so for me i will press 3 comma press another value then close the brackets and press enter so far that's how you create some fake paragraphs so i've created these for practice so i'll make them paragraphs before importing them to the editor and closing tag opening tag and closing tag so i'll press ctrl a to highlight them all ctrl c to copy them and come in my editor so down below the header i'll put i will paste them ctrl v if i want again i press ctrl v again to paste them press. so when i preview this in the browser so far this is what we are having so next let's turn to our style sheet and start styling this page the way you saw it in the beginning so 
I already linked my style sheet here, style sheet that's style.css which is here. So let me tap down to make this get lost. Let's style for the button. Go to the extreme end. So I'm going to make h1 font size. Font size. I'll give it like 35 pixels. 35 points 35 points save this and this is what we are having and for the h4 h4 i'll give it 16 h4 so that's how you select the elements h4 i'll give it a font size Point size point size of 16 pixels 16 points sorry we view it in our browser and so far that's what we are having now let's put in our image then our target header using its element name we used we never gave it any class or an id then i bring background image the url uniform resource locator that will track the path where the image is found and i'm having a folder here where even the page is located and they are having these various wallpaper so i'm going to be using wallpaper too so that's the name of the image wallpaper two dot g tag view this and this is what we are having so far. So I'm going to make this text white so that you can be able to see it. Just for now I'll make it white. And that's what we are having now. We target, we want to stretch this thing to be covering the all area like up here. So I'll give it a view height, viewport height, height of 100 vh. So this vh will be the viewport height. So and it will stretch and cover this place. Remember, we are designing this layout using the flexbox form. Now, what we are, we give this image background size of cover. So, as you can see now, it's straight. You can see everything in the image. Then, we set the margin bottom we want it to leave some margin here you say margin bottom now we'll give it 50 pixels and it will leave some space there then now we give it some box shadow box shadow zero pixels stop right bottom 50 pixels left 5 pixels red save that whoa let's first leave this then now we are going to display it left flex display display flex so to do this we 
can see it's now <laughs> not somehow there then we give it flex direction which will be a column flex direction column to view it in the browser and <laughs> this is what we are having funny then we give it item align items align items I set it center and <laughs> this will be able to arrange our layout then I give you some justify content justify content justify content I'll give it also center so that it goes in the middle so far that's the stuff I'll go ahead and remove this color so that they remain with their default color black so far this is doing the magic we want as you can see now let's make try to make these paragraphs be like in an article form or poem form so I'll select all the paragraphs give them the maximum width of 700 pixels and margin to center them zero auto auto 20 pixels and this is what we having so let me remove the comments on the button let me remove these comments so that it gets the let me slide up so this button must be able to adapt to those designs and so far that's what we are having so let's go ahead and add the other box shadow you saw down here so our right border box shadow zero pixels top zero pixels left 50 pixels bottom and 5 pixels left and I want that shadow to be red save that Whoa, what's wrong with this editor so behind the scenes I went and arranged this stuff then when you refresh you will be able to see this box shadow around our header so that's how you create a full landscape website when the user visits your site he sees such home page these cool animations on the button so you can go ahead and try something more complex than this and create your fantastic websites so thanks for watching guys please subscribe on my channel like the video share it on different social medias and be blessed can go ahead add some border radius give it five pixels so I don't want this header to be having these sharp edges I'll just refresh and I will go with those cool border radiuses thanks for watching please subscribe once again Austin Code Cypher, out.